Marjorie's Kitchen today, and I'm going to show you how to make, these are turkey lollipops, and I'm going, and I'm also going to put a little bit of, this is English toffee, I made some English toffee, poured it out, and then just broke it up. I think you can buy these kind of chips, or if you just get a recipe for English toffee, but don't put any chocolate or nuts in it, it's just plain toffee. And I'm going to pour some chocolate in here, put some toffee in it, add some more chocolate, and show you how to make the lollipop. Okay, so we're going to start. You can come over here to my... I'm sure you all have one of these in your kitchen, right? My tempering machine. I get rid of everything in my house. Everything, my toaster, my refrigerator. <laughs> but I would not get rid of my tempering machine. So I'm just going to take a little bit of chocolate. I'm going to put it in each mold, just a tiny bit, because these little turtles, these little turkeys, they have a lot of little spaces. And you can't fill the whole mold all of a sudden, um, you know, all at once and kind of dump it out like you do with some molds because of the lollipop sticks. They would get in the way and they'd fill up with chocolate. So I take a glove and I kind of just go into the corners Okay, and I'm just going to make sure they all have, it all has chocolate down in there, all the little edgy things. And don't worry, don't worry too much if the chocolate gets above the mold, because you can take a little spatula right, right here, and you can, um, you can kind of go over the top, I'll show you in a moment. I just want to get the chocolate down into those little corners, and you can even look at it. Give it a nice tap, and you can see that all the little edges, the faces, they're all full. All right? So I'm going to take with my other hand. You can stick a nice piece of, or some little teeny pieces in there. All right? Of English toffee. A nice little surprise for people, homemade English toffee. That's our specialty, by the way, Marjorie's Candies is English toffee. You have to visit our website and see. We, we do this and we cover it with chocolate so we can make it without nuts as well. Normally there's almonds and stuff in our toffee. All right, we put a little more. And if you see another space I need to fill up, tell me. You can write me a note and tell me I forgot to put some chocolate in one of the corners. I'd appreciate that. All right, how's that look? I get it all? Pretty good. Okay, so now you go back here and you, now you can fill it up. Just put a little blob of chocolate on top. Now we're going to go over and tap it. You don't want too, too much, but you don't want to have to play with it to clean up the edges too much. And if you package them, you don't have to worry about them being out in the, the air, the toffee being out in the air and getting a little bit soft. It's in a package. We seal everything with a heat seal, but you can just put them in a zippy bag. Alright, so let's get this a little bit more. Okay. I'll tap it here. See if you need any more. You see it's all getting outside. It's not the end of the world if that happens because you can take your these are great little tiny spatulas for working with um, the molds. But if you just brush this against, you can bring it down. You can bring the chocolate down to where you can see the mold. See, and don't worry if it's standing up a little teeny bit. It doesn't matter. As long as you get the shape of the mold. This looks pretty good. I just bring it in and I let it go. Bring it in and bring it up. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. You just want to see that edge of the mold. See the edge of the turkey? Okay. And now, give it a little tap. Molds never have to be completely filled. So I'm going to take my glove off. It's easier to work. When you put a stick in, this is a, a um, it's not a wooden stick. It's like a, I don't know, a paper. You dip it into the mold. You dip it into your chocolate and give it a twist so it's covered. 
and then place it down into the space for your lollipop. You can do all the same direction. See where it's see where the stick stops. Come over here. You know, I bet you could even if you have a bowl of see how much see how much stick is gonna be in there. Come over here and dip it in. Oh wow, that would be cool. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about damaging your mold. So that's about an inch and a half or so. So just bring it over. It just adds a little more chocolate to your to your candy. And nobody has yet to complain. So that's good. And there's one here of just this one right here. You see the stick isn't quite the way I like it, so I'm just going to add a teeny bit more chocolate. They're very forgiving. Let's make sure that it's touching that. Okay. It's probably a piece of toffee keeping that from going down in. So that's good. You can top it a little more. Now that we're all finished with them, you, this chocolate needs to be tempered, meaning I need to refrigerate it. Or I need to just make sure it gets cold very quickly. And right now it's about 40 degrees on, which is really, that's the temperature of your refrigerator, I hope. So I'm going to put these outside, because outside is the biggest refrigerator on the planet. And just let them sit there for about, depending how deep the mold is, probably I would let them sit out there for a half hour. So we're going to take a look at them when they're done. I did not have a chance to pop these out for you since I've really washed this, I've washed out the mold, but, but it looked like they were really just in here. Now I'm, just, I'm going to put them back in to show you because I want, when you do take them out of the mold, it is really best to take your, take the cookie sheet, okay, I always line it. And um, pick it up this way and flip it over so when they come out, they don't drop out onto your, onto your tray because sometimes the little heads are kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but the heads are kind of narrow. They're skinny, and they might see how skinny that is. They might break off. Now let me show you. How to, I, I put little tiny eyes on them. I just take a toothpick. I mean, there's no point really in, um, unless you're making millions of them. This is white chocolate that I melted. Okay, and just kind of take a toothpick and just touch right where the eye is supposed to be. So if you want to make up a bag of chocolate and stuff, then that's, you can do that, but this just takes a second, a little toothpick. And then you're all set. So you have a teeny little eye. Now I have several little things of ribbon. This is raffia ribbon. These are fall colors. And I have these little tiny, these are called peanut bags. And I'll just take a peanut bag and I'll just put a little lollipop, a lollipop um, turkey in there and I'll take a little tiny piece of the raffia and tie it underneath and make a little bow and voila There you go, you have all your little turkeys in a bag and ready to put at somebody's place for Thanksgiving. And I, they've always really enjoyed them. They're a lot of fun.